Hello, it's me, Copy, with another personal spin. Today's personal spin is a personal spin on Abaddon. Abaddon's album. Oh, and this is Kion, the big plushie that my friend Snooky Bear bought me. And he's very lovely and he has fluffy red hair. Anyway, back to Abaddon. Abaddon is a band from the UK who are signed to a really small record label called Rising Records. With that discovery, I am very surprised. This band blew me away. They are immense. They've clearly put a lot of work into the album itself for such a small record label. See? The presentation of the album is really, really good. So they've clearly thought about it a lot. And they've given the title of the album, it's called... That didn't make any sense. They've given their album a name, and that name is Sentence to Death. But I think it's a, not a literal death because there's a wheelchair on the CD, which makes me think it might be a... The kind of death you get if you end up in the, in a in a psych ward in a hospital or something, based on the front cover. Anyway, with that in mind, the band are a sort of an old schooly, new schooly thrash metal band. So think Slayer with a hint of I know they're not thrash metal, but sort of Shadows Fall and Killswitch Engage, or maybe they are thrash metal. I don't do these silly subgenre things. Anyway, the riffs are really good. They've just, it's so good, it just works so well. A band this good should not be on such a small record label. They should be at least on the same level as Vile, which is one of their idols. Uh, a classic example would be My Misery, Song 2. It's like Slayer, but new. For the last minute of the whole song, they just guitars but it's got like gang vocals and stuff as well and then you've got the drums which are just like all over the place but they're controlled and they know exactly what they're doing and they do it right when it needs to be done and it's that kind of thing that pushes the music itself forward uh, rather than sort of showing off they just do things that need doing like little splash cymbals and high toms and then low toms and stuff like that um, the vocals are a little bit more gritty than your typical thrash metal band. They're more sort of shouty, growly vocals. But the band itself is slightly more aggressive than thrash. I mean, thrash is pretty aggressive anyway, but with the production, which is actually really good for an underground, un up and coming, whatever you want to call it, band, um, it makes it just a little bit more. <laughs> and it's really cool. This band should be touring with the likes of at least Evile uh, people like that I love Evile what else can I say they're just phenomenal me and Kion will be giving this album a 9 poor rating because we think it's really that good you should pick it up if you can it's on Rising Records it was released in 2000 and something doesn't sound the back of the CD like it normally does. Uh, Rising Records, the band is called Abaddon, and the album is called Sentenced to Death. You should own it now, or you will be sentenced to death by order of Kion and the Lion Guard. Anyway, nine paws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah, I can count. And last but not least, can you dance to it while drunk? Hell yeah! Right. I have been Cobby, and this has been Kai on the Big Plushie, bought for me by Snooky. I would like to thank Snooky again. And I'd like to thank the band, Abaddon, who actually got back to me on Facebook when I messaged them telling them that I thought their album was awesome. I'd also like to thank Ellie, who bought me some new plushies, and they will be coming 
hopefully tomorrow. And I would also like to thank Mike, who is awesome, he's a fike, and his name rhymes. And I'd also like to thank Tim again, and my mum, but she knows I thank her anyway, because, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank all my plushies, because although they're plushies, they are alive to me. Yes, I am insane. So, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I will have more videos coming for you soon. I'm going to start a new playlist soon called Classic Albums, which will basically be a list of albums that I think everybody should own, or at least have listened to, if not once, at least twice. Thank you for watching again. Bye.